Guadalajara has always been one of my favorite Mexican cities to go out in. I used to live here for six months. I would go out into here, the, the downtown, and just see what kind of trouble I could find myself in or what kind of people I, would, I could meet, go dancing, find out a cool little place to have a drink or you know have dinner, some street tacos, or if we were in a restaurant, whatever you wanted to do. And it's just such a bohemian, lively environment. There's always something going on down here at all the different plazas in the downtown. So just a really amazing place to be out on the town. So on Sundays, people gather here at the plaza in Querétaro to dance cumbia. So this is kind of a long-standing Querétaro tradition and kind of lucky to have stumbled upon it like just as I'm arriving in Querétaro. So let's go see how some of these people are celebrating that it's a Sunday and how they're spending their night before they have to go to work tomorrow. So let's go see. kind of funny that all these antics happen under the watchful eye of the temple of Saint Francis right here which always stands up out as a beacon like throughout the downtown maybe as a reminder to the inhabitants to not get too rowdy considering it's a Sunday night Querétaro's downtown being one of the largest that has preserved the most of its baroque and colonial architecture it is just such a bohemian place to go out and try to see what kind of fun you can get into so yeah I mean you know I'm all about that bohemianism El padre amado los está viendo, ¿eh? Van a tener que ir a confesarse. No vayas con el gran. Que le quieren dar a limón al payaso. Está bien. No es mal, se repite. ¡Se repite! Está bien, está bien. Está bien. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Háganse un tantito para atrás. Un tantito para atrás. Un tantito para atrás. So all of these different plazas are connected through all these different streets and they're just filled with tons of different restaurants and locales and souvenir shops so it's a really cool place to be for the weekend and to just kind of come here and explore on foot and just see what kind of like amazing discovery you make So we're here during the few weeks leading up to the holidays so actually they're putting up the, the lights that will be here basically until after the holidays so yeah i mean they're putting them up literally right now i'm approaching the plaza de armas it's one of my favorite plazas it's so beautiful and it's very historic this is where the leaders of the mexican independence movement got warned that the spanish had had discovered their conspiracy so this brave woman who gets locked in her house by her husband and she ends up sending this message to the conspirators just in time so that they could escape and you know start the Mexican independence movement Wait, so tons of history which happened right here it actually happened right in this house
Christmas tree that is going to line this plaza is looking amazing already. People are friendly, told you guys. So this is one of my favorite fountains in the whole of Querétaro. This is a monument to the Marquis del Valle, a Marquess who paid for the aqueduct that used to bring drinking water into the city from the outside. So the citizens of Querétaro honored him with this statue in one of Querétaro's most important plazas for being the figure who basically brought water from outside the city for to allow the city to keep growing. The Manceba is one of my favorite bars. You can have a glass of pulque there or a beer, cocktail. It's pretty cheap. So if you guys are here for the night, you can always visit it. It'll be a really cool little experience. Pretty hipster place to be. I am so hungry. I want like some tacos, some gorditas. I am obsessed with gorditas and especially here in Querétaro because they are so good. This is I think like this region is the origin of the gordita. The gordita is like a kind of like a mix between like a taco and and like a pita. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So it's just amazing. Well, it is Sunday, so as well pop into the church, see what's going on. You can always come here and confess your sins right after you leave the Manceba. And then get your tacos at the plaza right down the street. People in Querétaro are nothing if not practical. <laughs> How can you relay the smell of an authentic Mexican taco through video? Four delicious tacos for the equivalent of two bucks. So it's time to dig in. Oh my god, this looks delicious. Two beef and two beef combined with chorizo and copious amounts of salsa to go with it. You know what? I'm feeling drawn to show you one of my favorite haunts in this incredible city. This is a tightly kept secret, so be sure to not tell anybody else. We're headed towards La Selva Taurina. It is one of my favorite spots here in Querétaro. This cool little rowdy little bar that is a bullfighter bar. I just wanna share it with you guys. So when you come here, you toast to my health. My favorite place is here in Querétaro. They have this cool little jukebox over here where you just put in 10 pesos 
and choose a song. People will sing along to it if they know it. So it pays off to know a couple of different Mexican songs to put in into the jukebox. So get you know get the whole party here started. It's a cool little vibe environment. Bullfighting used to be and it still is pretty important to the culture of El Bajío, this whole region. It also for Mexico in general. This car is just so evocative. It just has such an old vibe to it. Like one of these like old like guy bars from like old Mexico from like the 60s, 70s. Places my grandpa would have gone to. I actually have a story here. And this is the story of how I met the devil in Querétaro. It actually happened right here. So what happened was that I went out with a couple of friends. There was this this kind of weird relationship between these two friends where this guy was hitting on this girl. But we were, all three of us were friends. And we, we came to this bar and we they were putting like danceable songs and people were dancing and singing and you can hear the rowdy environment here. So what happened was that I was sitting here having my beer and this old man comes to me and he st we started talking about philosophy about good and evil and he's just kind of like hinting at like oh like you're not as good as you you probably don't want to be as good as you think you do or just kind of i don't know just kind of like there's this like emotional manipulation that he's trying to do and i can just tell and then in between these like snippets of conversation with this old man in a suit my friend my female friend would come here my amiga and we would put a song and then go dancing and then she would put another song and she'd dance with the other guy this old man would just stare at us and just kind of drink and look at us while we dance with this like weird expression on his face and he would talk to me well, the other guy was dancing and then he would talk to the other guy while I was dancing with him. And then eventually he started trying to manipulate me into like, get with this girl, get with this girl because she's, she really likes you. And you know, just trying to separate the group. And when we left, we realized that this guy had been manipulating all three of us separately. And then he just disappeared into thin air. So, yeah, plenty of stories here in Querétaro. So what happened at the end of the night was that I ended up, we ended up going back to the car and as we're walking back, we're kind of comparing experiences of these snippets of conversation with this creepy old man in a suit. Cool. So, it turns out that he had been trying to break up the whole... <laughs> turns out that he had been trying to break up the friend group the whole time before just mysteriously vanishing into thin air. So, I don't know, it was just a weird night and we all just kind of looked at each other and kind of went like, did we just meet the devil? So he just like disappeared into thin air, just kind of trying to like lure us into these temptations and and then just kind of vanished. So, he might have been or he might not have been, but if you are gonna meet the devil, it sure as hell is gonna be here. Just something that I really enjoyed about being here in Querétaro, which is this old timey, like bohemian feel and just kind of how you can find these cool places and just let your curiosity guide you to your next adventure which is something that I have always felt here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I only wanted to showcase what an amazing city Querétaro is to go out like this video subscribe to our channel it keeps us growing we're trying to grow this amazing community of ramblers and rovers from all around the world including you so I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to our channel 
It keeps us growing, we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Be sure to add this to your bucket list for Mexico. Until our next adventures, amigos, stay safe, keep traveling.